the bear and the beavers is so unpleasant to listen to. There are so many high-pitched whistles and squeaks in this that I actually found it really uncomfortable. It actually hurt my ears. So I honestly can't say that I enjoyed any of it at all because I just kept kind of wincing at this horrible sound. This is an MGM cartoon from 1942. It's directed by Rudolf Ising and written by Heck Allen. The narrative itself is, well, the first half of it's very slow and very boring, but after that it gets a bit more interesting. Barney Bear is really cold in winter because he's run out of firewood. And nearby the beavers have been beavering away, working hard, cutting up the wood and stacking it. And Barney Bear sees this wood and decides it would be the perfect wood for his firewood. And the beavers are not pleased about this at all. And they, well, what happens with once they kind of realise, I thought was pretty wonderful. A little bit sinister and kind of creepy, but it worked very well. That aspect of the narrative, it, it took such a long time. It took really, half the narrative was just setting up, which I always think is too much time. But once it got going and, and the beavers came into their own, I thought it was all right. The design of the beavers I quite like. As characters, I think they're quite pleasing to look at. In terms of the animation quality, it, it's not too bad. The colour palette's kind of dark and, yeah, it's winter, so it's going to be darker. But it's, I feel like it's visually not as engaging as it could have been. But the beavers themselves I quite liked. But all of this is irrelevant because I can't listen to it. Now, I, I suppose I could turn the sound off and watch it. I don't, you know, I don't need to have the sound on to follow what's happening. But I just cannot understand why it's so disgustingly painful to listen to. The, and the whistling seems to be much higher in volume than anything else. But maybe that's just because it's such an awful sound that I focus on it more. So I'm really disappointed that the sound is terrible. It's not that often that MGM cartoons will have a terrible sound to the extent where I hated listening to it. But it does happen now and then. And unfortunately, The Bear and the Beavers is one of those occasions. So I'd recommend it with the sound off. Definitely not with the sound on.